what's up guys and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing um two prompts or two questions in the tarot vlogmas 2021 challenge by papa squirrel today we're doing question 11 and question 12 so the first question is gingerbread what should you indulge in so the first thing that came to my mind is indulging in more drawing which is kind of funny because that's what I'm doing in this video. So one of the things that I feel like I should indulge in, or at least start to indulge in again, is is drawing, right? Because um, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, I forgot what prompt it was where I was drawing again, or drawing as well, but I'm pretty sure I mentioned that one of the things that would make me happy is drawing and the fact that I the fact that I gave it up for so many years was kind of concerning to me because it was something that I love to do why would you why would you give something up that you love to do you know what I mean so I feel like one of the things that I should indulge in is in general things things that that made me happy before that I stopped doing for some reason I feel like I should just start indulging in those things again. And one of those things was drawing. Whether it's like, I don't know what you call it, like physical drawing, like on physical paper or digital drawing. Believe it or not, I actually never knew how to like draw digitally or how to go about it. And my tarot deck, the Iris Tarot, I think 90% of it is digital artwork. 10% of it came from like physical artwork that I took a picture of and then made it digital, if that makes any sense. I'm starting off again. Um, but one of the things that I feel like I should indulge in is is drawing, just, just to draw again. And also one thing that I wanted to bring up on my channel or do on my channel is kind of do like voiceovers of showing you guys how I drew up each card for the iris tarot but doing voiceovers on it so like showing you guys my process showing more artwork chatting you know just one of those chatty videos i personally love chatty videos i don't know about you guys let me know in the comments if you like those too but i personally love chatty videos sometimes i just play them in the background as i'm listening and doing something else whether it's working or or drawing also <laughs> It's kind of like, I guess it's kind of like making it as a podcast, even though it's not because it's a video, but you know what I mean? So yeah, that's one of the things I feel like I should indulge in again is, is drawing. Another thing is probably dancing again. Cause I haven't, that's, that's my form of workout is dancing. Sometimes I would do with weights too. Like I'd get my dancing, I guess I would get to the point where I think the highest heart rate I had while dancing was 180 beats per minute so you know it gets kind of high <laughs> but i feel like i should indulge in that again i should dance again because again it was so it's something that makes me it makes me happy and it also it also helps you get healthy right because you're working out losing weight toning up whatever you want to call it but yeah so that's another thing i feel like i should indulge in Bringing it back to like tarot and divination in general though, one thing that I want to indulge in related to that is doing more tarot readings or even just doing more tarot, tarot reading videos, but I don't know if I mentioned it already to you guys. Like I want to do tarot, tarot reading videos, but I don't really want to do like the pick a card or pick a pile readings i just want to do like one re one and done one reading and that's it one ring for the collective if you want to watch it all the way or not and that's it that's that's what i want to do so i want to indulge in that another thing that i also want to indulge in is dreams which actually bringing it up now i, I was actually talking about it on my instagram earlier today as i'm filming this video but like diving more into dreams, dreams in general, like the dreams that I have, the dreams that I have had, my dream journal, even like reading my dreams to you guys, 
and also like trying to break it down or diving deep into dreams in general, different types of dreams. I kind of want to do it where it's sort of, well, not like a class, but providing you guys information from what I've learned in my studies when it, when it's, you know, related to dreams in general, as well as my own dreams, things that I've noticed. I kind of want to do it sort of, I guess, like a study guide, but not really. I mean, I'm sure you guys might pick up on something that you didn't know of before regarding dreams in a video. So like you'll, you'll end up learning something new, right? I'm pretty sure one of the videos will teach you something new, even if it's like a small little detail. But I want to do that. Um, what else? I think that's all I can think of at the top of my head that I really want to do or do again. More drawing. Also like incorporating my art more with my channel. Things to do with dreams, bringing, bringing that up in my channel too. More tarot readings. Like I have so many decks, but I haven't, I haven't really had a chance to use them. I do offer tarot readings on my website but I don't get nearly enough as much as I would want to, to, you know, get to use all of my decks. So that's another thing, like I want to do tarot readings, anything to do with dreams, content on dreams, more drawing, maybe like voiceover videos of you guys watching me create the Iris Tarot. What else? What else did I mention? Oh, more dancing, because you know, that makes me happy. All the things that I mentioned that I want to indulge in would make me happy. I think that's all I can think of right now for things that I should indulge in. So let's move on to question 12. Question 12 is, I have the questions like right over here, by the way. <laughs> that's where this light is coming from. I have my iPad right here. <laughs> question 12 is, what light do you bring to the darkness? You know what? This is... This is one of those questions where I feel like I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what I bring to the, well, I mean, I kind of do, but then I don't. I can see that, I don't, I don't want to say a lot of my content, but some of my content, I can see that I've made people laugh or smile. Um, they literally tell me in the comments, like, you made me laugh so much lol this was hilarious or like little things that they point out that they noticed in my video they would say ma made them laugh and that makes me happy that makes me smile like i like i like making people laugh or smile off of just being myself and to me it doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like they're laughing at me it feels like they're laughing with me if that makes any sense so i feel that's kind of like a light that i bring to the darkness or help brighten somebody else's day. Does that make sense? Laughter. Laughter and smiles is the light that I bring to the darkness. I feel like I also, I don't know if, if the word understanding or just being understanding, well, it can be. Being understanding or understanding of the darkness can be a form of light, you know, like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. It's not something I don't think I've necessarily done on my channel, but I know I've done it in my personal life. Things that you guys obviously don't see, like my connection with uh, acquaintances or friends or family members in person that I talk to. I've had quite a few of them, you know, who, who would approach me with like their issues because a lot of us don't have that one person that you can just go to and vent about anything and everything and they'll be unbiased about it or they won't be judgmental about it. Like they need, um, <laughs> I guess you'd call it a venting buddy. <laughs> when they would vent to me, I'd kind of read the energy to see if, if they're there just to vent or if they're there to vent, but also need not a resolution per se, but like guidance. Cause sometimes people just need to vent to vent like they don't they don't need you to guide them in anything they just they just need a vent so i try to like read the energy when they start off venting to me and when it's one of those moments where they're looking for guidance or even like actually asking for guidance towards their issues or situations i help them try to understand 
the issues and situations from like many perspectives, not just their own or whoever or whatever's causing the issue. So I think the fact that I'm trying to bring understanding towards people's situations or issues is a form of light that I bring to the darkness, whether that's their own darkness or even my own, because sometimes I get those days where I feel like I'm worthless. I get those days where I feel like I don't mean anything, right? But then I bring myself back to the fact that you do mean something. You're not worthless. You've helped so many people, even people that you don't even realize that you've helped. So that kind of helps light my own darkness in a way, if that makes any sense. Other people, other people, <laughs> they bring light to my darkness. It's like vice versa, I guess. It's kind of like, well, in a way it's kind of like an exchange of energy, even if it's, even if it's not intentional, but it just happens because it's so natural. So yeah, that kind of went somewhere else. <laughs> It's funny because every time I talk and I'm trying to draw, <laughs> I barely like finish anything in the drawing. But I take so long to draw anyways. So this, this drawing alone is probably going to take me maybe 60 hours to complete. Maybe? Well, like I haven't, an, I didn't even finish an eyeball in this video. I started this eyeball the last time I did a video where I was drawing and I didn't even finish the eyeball in this video. It was terrible. That's how slow I draw. But that's also how patient I am when it comes to drawing. I think that's all I have to say for both of those prompts. So let me just recap if I can remember because I feel like a lot of these I stray off with my thinking. So the first question was gingerbread, what should you indulge in? And I had mentioned art, dancing, dreams, and more tarot reading. And then the 12th question was, Rudolph, what light do you bring to the darkness? And I had mentioned laughter, smiles, understanding, being a vent buddy, if that's what you want to call it. I want to finish this eyeball before this video ends. So let me finish this eyeball really quickly. <laughs> oh, I see why it's so dark now. I was supposed to use the 005 and I used the 01. <laughs> now this one looks darker than all the other eyeballs. That's fine, it's just swollen, okay? It's just swollen. <laughs> oh yeah, that eye, that one's definitely darker than the other ones. <laughs> That's cool, at least we finished it though, right? I was debating whether or not to do, to draw and chat with this one, or I was gonna use this one like maybe work on the leaves right here but then i was like no because then i'm never gonna finish this one even though i'm probably not gonna finish this one anytime soon but yeah we're gonna finish this one eventually it's just really huge all right well that's it for me today those were my replies for the two prompts or the two questions question 11 and 12. don't forget to like this video and i will see you guys in the next one Bye!